These notes are on finding the missing angles using trig ratios. So trig ratios have inverses, and the inverses allow us to find angle measures. Um, just like the inverse of multiplication is multiplying by the reciprocal or division, um, trig ratios, trig functions also have inverses. Um, as you're looking at your calculator, you'll see um, these lovely buttons. You'll see the sine, cosine, and tangent button. And then above them, if you're using uh, a scientific calculator, usually it's, it's the second button, or if you're using a graphing calculator, you have the inverse. And this symbol, this negative one, symbolizes inverse. So sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse. So let's look at an example. Um, in our example, we are given the ratio for sine A, 2 over 5, and we're asked to find angle A. So um, I start with my equation that I'm given, sine A um, equals 2 fifths. I then take the inverse of both sides. So sine inverse of sine A equals sine inverse of 2 fifths. Now, the sine inverse of sine um, leaves me with A. And I now am in a position where I either need to look at a table um, that tells me what sine inverse of two-fifths is, or I can use my calculator. So I'm going to use the calculator. And here are my three trig ratio buttons, sine, cosine, and tangent. But because I'm trying to find sine inverse, I need the, in this case, the yellow button that's above the sine button, which tells me to press second, sine. And you can see now I have sine inverse in parentheses. In that parentheses, I'm going to put the 2 divided by 5. And I'm going to press Enter. And so now I know that A is approximately, and I'm using approximately here um, because I have a decimal that continues. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. And so I need to recognize that I am going to have to round here. Um, and so I'm going to say 23.58 degrees. Now, a note. Um, your calculators have two um, modes for finding angles. Um, and let's just look very quickly. If I press mode, on this calculator. You'll see right here in the third row down that I have the option of radians and degrees. We haven't discussed radians yet, um, and so um, what we are looking at are the degrees of angles, so that you'll need it in degrees. And your scientific calculator may also need to be switched. Um, you can ask your teacher for help with that, um, since each calculator is, is slightly different.